friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started for that we need boiled potatoes or ubli hui aalu this is beans this is tomato this is dhaniya patta that means coriander leaves and red dried chili or sukhi lal mirchi this is jeera or cumin seeds and mustard seed that means sarso this is haldi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is jeera powder or cumin powder this is amchur powder that means dried mango powder this is black salt or kala namak this is garam masala powder this is hing or asafoetida this is chaat masala powder this is lemon or nimbu and chili flakes that means kuti hui lal mirch our oil is nicely heated up so put two red dried chili or sukhi lal mirch and mustard seed that means sarso around 1 tablespoon and 1 tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds Now add the hee or asafoetida around one teaspoon. Mix it again. Now add the boiled potatoes or ubli hui aalu. Add one teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder and one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Mix it. And let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried. So add beans. Mix it. Now add. One teaspoon of this is jeera powder, a cumin powder. One teaspoon of this is amchur powder, that means dried mango powder. Little bit of this is black salt or kala namak. One teaspoon of this is garam masala powder. Add salt to taste or namak. Add sugar to. Balance it. That means steam. Now mix it again. Let them fry for a while. They have been fried for ten minutes now. So in this stage, put tomatoes. and chop dhaniya patta that means chop coriander leaves mix it and let them cook for a while they have been fried for another 2 to 3 minutes now so it is almost done so this stage and one teaspoon of this is chaat masala powder chili flakes or kuti hui lal mirch and squeeze a lemon or nimbu now mix it again and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel
friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need gobi or cauliflower here take 300 grams of gobi or cauliflower this is chopped tomato this is boiled peas or ubale hue matar this is adrak or ginger and roasted peanuts that means bhuna hua moongfali this is jeera or cumin seeds and red rice chili or sukhi lal mirchi this is honey powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is jeera powder that means cumin powder this is dhaniya powder that means coriander powder this is amchur powder that means dried mango powder this is yogurt or dahi this is dried kasuri methi this is garam masala powder this is hing or asa vadina and this is ghee our oil is nicely heated up so put two red rice chili or sukhi lal mirchi and one tablespoon of jeera that means cumin seeds let them crackle now add the cauliflower or gobi add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder mix it let them fry for a while we need to grind tomatoes add adrak that means ginger add roasted peanuts that means bhuna hua moongfali and 2 tablespoon of yogurt or dahi add little bit of water or pani now we will grind it we have finished grinding they have been fried for 5 to 6 minutes now so in this stage put the tomato yogurt paste into it mix it add 1 teaspoon of this is jeera powder or cumin powder 1 teaspoon of dhaniya powder that means coriander powder 1 teaspoon of this is amchur powder that means dried mango powder add 1 teaspoon of ghee or asa vadina add salt to taste or namak and sugar to balance it or chini mix it let them fry for a while they have been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes now. so in a stage put dried kasuri methi and boiled peas or ubale hue matar mix it and let them cook for a while they have been cooking for another 2 to 3 minutes now so it is almost done so in this stage put 1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon of ghee into it now mix it Gently. And you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes, and please subscribe my channel.